Good morning, Greater Leitrobe. In the WCAT TV studio, I'm Jared Balkan Subs alongside Victoria Potter. And these are your morning announcements. Thanks to all who have signed up to donate blood for the Senior High Blood Drive this Friday, March 31st. All 16 and 17 year old students who signed up for the blood drive must turn in their signed parental consent form to Ms. Zezza and the Senior High Nurse's Office by Wednesday, March 29th. You must, turn in, you must turn in your signed consent form to be eligible to donate blood this Friday. Outdoor Odyssey is still accepting applications for mentors. Please stop by the 1112 office for applications. Please submit by March 31st. There will be a side club meeting on Monday, April 3rd at 2.30 in Mrs. Hawk's room, C107. New members are always welcome. Ms. Zingas will be holding a lifeguarding recertification course on Saturday, April 1st from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Please email Ms. Zingas for more details or visit her website and sign up on the Google Doc. Do you want to work for GLSD this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday, 7 to 3.30 p.m., and the pay is $8.50 an hour. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, and some groundskeeping. If interested, please send a resume to the 11th, 12th grade office no later than April 12th. You can also stop by the 11th, 12th grade office to check out seasonal positions at the Hemfield Parks and Rec Department for this summer. In addition, please stop by the 11th, 12th office to check out the variety of programs available for this summer. The Westmoreland County Parks and Recreation Alliance is now accepting applications for the 2017 scholarship program. Interested individuals should stop in the student waiting area of the 1112 office for an application prior to the March 31st deadline. Applications for the Dino Castelli Scholarship are available in the 11th 12th grade office. Students are strongly encouraged to apply for this scholarship. Additional scholarships have been posted and many have application deadlines this month. Please check the scholarship page on the Counseling Office webpage for more information. If you have not done so, please pick up your prom permission form. If you're a late trove student, you will need an orange form. If you're bringing a guest who does not attend our school, you will need a blue form. You can pick up the forms outside of Mrs. Suter's office, S209, or in the 1112 office. Please complete these forms as soon as possible and turn them into the 1112 office to be signed. Tickets will be sold all day in the Commons area on April 6th, 7th, and 11th. Greater Things is an organization in Greensburg that provides help for the homeless and those less fortunate. They also provide group discussions for recovering or current addicts, meals every Tuesday, and a youth group every Monday. This year, they have grown so much that they are asking for your help in the form of donations. Now through April 10th, there will be boxes near the S Building elevator where donations will be accepted. Any donation is appreciated, but they are looking specifically for items such as hyg hygiene products, paper products, gently used clothing, canned goods, and other non-perishable goods. California University is having a free event titled A Trip Through Time on April 29th from 11 to 4. The event will feature living history opportunities in the form of reenactors, hands-on demonstrations, and displays. There will also be a poster contest with prizes awarded in the form of scholarship. Any student who applies to Cal U at this event will have the fee waived. For more information, please visit the event's Facebook page. The Junior High School musical cast will be presenting Peter Pan Jr. this Friday, March 31st, and Saturday, April 1st at 7 p.m., and Sunday, April 2nd at 2 o'clock p.m. in the LES Auditorium. Tickets are $7 for adults and $5 for, for students, and they can be purchased at the door. Come out and support the cast and crew who have been working extremely hard on this year's production. The Latrobe Lions Club is hosting their annual youth talent show on April 21st. Please pick up a flyer in the 11th 12th grade office in the student waiting area. The application deadline is April 6th. The boys lacrosse team is looking for two students to fill vital roles on the team. The first position is the team manager. Responsibilities include home and away game day stats and assist in coordination team practices and events with coaches and boosters. The second is a game film analyst. Responsibilities include taping all home and away games, some practices, editing footage, and using an analysis tools to apply player-specific highlight reels. These are vital roles for the team and for the positions qualify lettering. If you're interested, please contact GL, glhslax at gmail.com as soon as possible. Now, here's Zach Acosta with the weather report. Thanks, Jared. Today, we are looking at a high of 58 and a low of 36 with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, expect overcast with a high of 58 and a low of 45. And Friday, expect a high of 57 and a low of 45 with rain. That's all for weather. Back to you. For WCAT-TV, this has been Victoria Potter and Jared Balkenstubbs. Thanks for watching and have a great day.